the kitchen with Chef Ricotta cooking program, guys. I want to tell you a nice, lovely story. The story today, I get a request to make a Jamaican carrot bread. Excited, yes. Um, basically, I make the carrot bread, guys, and it's just beautiful, really nice. And I'm saying to you guys, try this at home. This recipe is simple. One cup of water and 16 ounces of flour or one pot of flour. So you can try it at home and tell me what you think about the recipe. Anyway, Christmas is only a few weeks leave, guys. And this is my cookbook right here, the Caribbean Cuisine Cookbook. You need to have it in the kitchen. There's a secret recipe inside of it named the Jamaican Rum Fruit Cake. And also the sour drink inside of it. We got also um, the Jamaican Guinness Punch, the way all Jamaican make it, is inside of it. You need to get a copy. The link will be below where you can get the book to buy. A lot of people buy the book. We get a lot of feedback and it is brilliant. Thank you guys for all support me so far. And the book was dedicated for my daughter and everything is belongs for my daughter. So guys, thank you so much. We know there's a lot of people all over the world buy the book. We sell probably 10,000 copy, but we need to sell more. So yeah, that's people can know about the Caribbean and I know about the food. I know about everything what's going on back home in Jamaica and then the rest of the world. Thank you so much, and this is from Chef Ricardo. See you next time, bye. Bye-bye. Hey. Welcome back, guys. As I explain to you how to make yourself a nice, lovely Caribbean or Jamaican carrot bread. So basically, I'm gonna give you a simple recipe where you can do this at home. Someone requested carrot bread from me. It's a sweet carrot bread, and I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. Anyway, basically, what you need to do, the first thing, make sure you got ease. This is two packs of yeast, which will be working out to two, te two teaspoons. So what we're gonna do, the first thing which we need to do is remove the spot of the yeast and pour it into a container like this. That's the first thing you need to do, guys. Um, second thing, um, add a teaspoon of salt. Next thing, a large teaspoon of sugar. Lovely and nice. I know you guys are gonna love this one because it's just something totally different. And I get the request for the bread, and I say, you know what, I need to do this bread. Um, I'm gonna use some unsalted butter, guys, and it's gonna be room temperature. And I'm gonna simply pop a large spoon of it inside of it, just like that. Just to give it a little flavor. Uh, so, um, next, make sure you have a cup like this or a glass. First of all, what you do, measure your water. I'm just going to measure it to show you guys. That's a cup of water. And all we're going to do is simple. The, the water, to be honest, you can put your cup. Of cold water into the microwave and 50 seconds is good for it this one because I boil it and I just, just keep in the temperature watching the temperature so in my kettle so that's why I can use this one so make sure your water look warm not hot or boiling water look warm so I'm gonna simple pop it straight inside of this container which the yeast the salt the sugar and the butter nice one so what's gonna happen now, it's gonna be frothy in the next 10 minutes or so. It's gonna be getting really frothy. Ah, uh, you can smell the yeast guys, honestly. The yeast smell amazing. So that's what's gonna help the bread to rise. So put this one side. And in the meantime, what you can do I'm using some strong bread flour, all right? That's what I'm using at the moment, some strong bread flour, which is really good to use. So first of all, this is eight ounces. So eight and eight will be 16 ounces of flour. Or in a other country, they would call that one pound of flour. Lovely and nice. So that's the flour inside of the, the measurement at the moment. The next thing we're gonna do, simply get a big bowl like this one, 
pour your flour straight inside of it like this. Then next, I'm gonna simply show you. This side is really good to grate your carrot, guys. Beautiful side. Some people do use this side, but I prefer this side. And I'm gonna simply just give you an idea. Right here, I have two medium-sized carrot. Remove the skin from the carrot. That's the first thing you want to do. It's simply great, right? Just like this. Nice one. So now, as you can see, I just finished grating my carrot. Basically, just add it to the flour. Nice one. Use a hooding spoon and simply give it a little stir. Just like this. Nice one. So put this at the side. This is my bread tray right here. This is where I bread, bake my bread in. Now what I'm gonna simply do is pop roughly a pinch of vegetable oil inside of it, just like that. And then next is get a piece of a napkin and simple just wipe it in the inside of it. Make sure the inside of it get really highly and greasy up. In the meantime, the yeast is getting frothy and the flour is ready and the bread tray is ready. So all we need to do is put that at the side. Then next, get a piece of a, like a table towel or what you use to dry your plate and simply dump it with some warm water to cover it. That's the last thing we're going to do. So I will show you that bit. So this is ready. And as you can see, it start to get frothy. So leave this for another 10 minutes. So roughly 20 minutes on that, and this is ready. Nice and lovely. So guys, as you can see, in I don't know if you've seen what I'm talking about, but as you can see how frothy it is at the moment, that means uh, you see the ease work with the salt and the butter and the sugar, everything together and just get it. It's amazing. So remember, one cup of water and a tablespoon of of yeast or two teaspoon of yeast is working out to that and 16 ounces of flour look at this guys to be honest i don't even have to do anything more than simple pour it inside of this like this as you can see how frothy it is and a simple mix it i don't even have to do anything else guys because this is a measurement which i've been working with over the last decade so i know what's going on right here so all you need to do is just do what I do. As you can see, right here, look at this. Make sure you get everything out of it. Really nice. So, let's mess up it on for a little bit, but that's fine. So as I can see guys, one cup of water to eight, 16 ounces of bread, white strong bread flour. Lovely and nice. And basically what I'm gonna do, this is my little surface right here. I'm gonna simply do, just to show you what's going on right here. Just get a little bit of my flour and simply sprinkle on the surface just like this. Take out the dough and simple. That's all I need to do. This the, the flour which I'm using, you can use plain flour if you cannot find strong bread flour. To be honest, guys, plain flour you can use it, it's work really well, just like the strong bread flour. But strong bread flour is just something the flour is just totally different. If you can get it, it's even better. But you know, what I mean, as I say, you don't have to if you don't if you can't find it because the white flour do work the same way lovely so as you can see the sweet carrot bread really nice really really nice feel really good and really nice so basically pop it straight inside of it like this simple
and after you do this all you need to do is cover this and put it over your top of your stove or somewhere warm so preheat your oven in the meantime if you, if you preheat your oven and make the top of your surface of your oven start to get warm um, gas mark 5 or 7 is good for it gas mark 7 or 8 is good for this and you're only gonna do is just bake it for 45 minutes if not give it another five more minutes inside of the oven it all depends kind of kind of oven you are using guys anyway um, if you're using a different kind of oven 165 is good for it uh, for 30 35 minutes to 40 minutes or so um, basically when I cover this bread with it, when I cover it just like this guys what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave it right here over my surface over my stove somewhere warm for one hour so you have to have patient to make bread um, it all depends sometimes it takes 30 minutes um, sometimes it takes up to an hour until you see start to get proof so let's go back and leave it and you can do something else in the meantime you can make a next bread you can do something different in the meantime spend some time with the kids so all I'm gonna do is just put it on top of my stove where warm for 35 minutes if not give it an hour see you next time yes guys so I did have the bread cover like this for roughly 45 minutes to an hour yeah then all I have to do is just lift it up but look at that you see what I'm saying guys this is exactly what's happening right here when you're making a nice lovely homemade carrot bread so enjoy the recipe now we're gonna put it straight inside of the oven and we're gonna bake this for roughly 30 to 40 more minutes inside of the oven yes mark 6 or 7 is good for it if you're using a different kind of oven as I said before turn on your temperature have it on a medium put it in the, in the middle of the oven not on top because you don't want your bread to burn up guys enjoy the recipe Just take it out of the oven guys look at this lovely bread take 40 minutes and a medium size eat inside of the oven guys so as I can see all oh, the bread has come out lovely I want to see if I can take it out you know enjoy the recipe I'm gonna take it out and put it on that rock really nice so as I can see basically you can put a piece of paper inside grease proof paper if you're not sure but sometimes it do easy to come out so I'm just gonna use my knife and a simple nice one lovely wow perfect really nice really really nice guys as you can see that's the bread lovely and nice very easy and simple and effective guys as you can see that's the carrot white loaf bread really nice and beautiful as you can see all they need is some butter yes um, let's see what's going on next now Super. Cut off a nice, lovely. Cause it's still hot enough. Hot guys, this is really, really hot. I need to get my bread knife. Nice one. Ah, but look at that, beautiful. Really, really nice, guys. As I can see, look at the bread, weird carrot and everything, guys beautiful so all you need to do is just put a nice lovely piece of butter on that man and have a nice lovely cup of tea so, you guys are not so enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the channel please and leave your comments you can add more carrot if you do like if you want to feed me more carrot dish you can have more carrot so enjoy it guys and see you next time bye bye